Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging and today we're going to be talking about different personalities of ball pythons. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today we're going to be telling you all about ball pythons and their different personalities. So these guys are known as pet rocks in some circles and a lot of people say that ball pythons are very boring and they're not very active or don't have personalities which I think is completely untrue. Every single ball python I have has its own personalities and with working with these guys over the last 12 years you can really start to learn different snakes, their personalities, kind of how they're feeling um, almost daily when you open up their cage to look at them. So we're going to discuss that a little bit and I'm going to show you guys a few different snakes and the different personalities that they have. So starting out, we have, her name is Mango. She is a female banana pied from last season. She is a holdback and as you can see, she's incredibly friendly. She's very docile and she is one that I would let little kids hold if they come over or you know if people are a little bit nervous about snakes and they want to see their first one, this is normally the one that we will pull out. We have a couple others like her, but she's just very docile. She's not head shy, which means you could touch around her face and she doesn't freak out. The bright light doesn't bother her, which a lot of them are bothered by. But she is just a great, I would call her a great pet snake. She, she's what I'd call a pet snake. She is one that you could probably hold her every single day. She won't get stressed out. She'll still eat. She's not super food aggressive, which normally I actually like food aggressive females. That normally means that they're going to be great at eating, they'll be great at breeding because they're big and healthy and they'll eat all the way up till having their eggs or at least their ovulation. Ones like her normally aren't the best when it comes to breeding because sometimes if they're shy around food it could take a while for them to grow up but she has no problem with eating as you can see. She's a nice chunky little girl but she's what I would call a perfect ball python if somebody is looking specifically for a pet. I do have quite a few males that are like this. Uh, normally I find males tend to act more like this than females, but that's just in my experience and it all completely depends on the snake. But I'm excited to breed her and hopefully make some very calm babies just like her. We've got a few that we had this year that are just like this, so I kept a couple of them back nice and relaxed. But for example, you could see how her head and her neck is completely straight. She's not back in like, for example, like a strike pose, like I'm sure some of these guys would, would be if I was holding them like this. She's not overly concerned about the bright light, about the camera. Now we have quite a few other snakes that, that are not as friendly as her. We do actually have quite a few, especially females that are, were very aggressive and were got and we've got them specifically because the people couldn't handle them. They do not like to be held, a lot of them. I find that there are some ball pythons just do not like to be handled. For example, we have a big female purple passion. She eats fantastic, sheds perfect. She breeds really, really well, has some amazing babies every season, but she just does not like to be handled. As soon as you touch her, she freaks out. I've had her now probably seven years, at least six years, and she's just been crazy since day one. Luckily, none of her babies have really had that attitude, but with some snakes, they just do not like to be handled. So with the personality of, for example, Mango here, she would be great for someone who has a kid, someone who's newer to ball pythons, or someone just looking for a nice relaxing pet snake. But when it comes to her, a lot of people assume the more you handle them, the better they are. I probably haven't held her, like held her, held her like this in probably several months because I did just switch her from, about three months ago I switched her from a 12 quart to our new hybrid rack over here and the bins are quite large compared to the little 12 quart bin. The ones you see back here are for females, we've got bins that are a little bit smaller right here for these guys, but that's pretty much their biggest jump I find from going from the 12 quart up to this. So I like to give all the ball pythons a bunch of space and time to adjust, adjust to eating, adjust to being in a new setup. There's a larger hide, larger, larger water dish, and a lot more space for them. And it goes from a clear bin to a darker one. So I like to give them plenty of time to adjust. And I probably haven't held her since I've moved her, which about two to three months ago is when I did that. And she's still just as sweet as she could be. but. So that just goes to show you that a ball python's personality is really their personality. It has nothing to do with how much you hold them. I'm sure 
constant handling with, for example, a grumpy snake or one that has like striking issues and stuff like that, that could be true. But if it's a good snake, generally it's a good snake. We also have some snakes that are very highly active. We have Morel. You th if you think this girl's moving a lot, we will, maybe we'll grab Morel here in a little bit. She is a ball python who constantly, constantly has to be moving. She is the same age and about the same length as this girl. And Morel actually eats even more, but she's a very slim snake because she is insanely active. She cannot sit still. I've never once seen her ball up. She has never once been calm. She is a very high strung snake and that's just how she is. She's incredibly food driven. If she thinks she has food, she will go for it. As long as she knows for a fact you don't have food or you're not even thinking about giving her food, she will calm down, but she's not mean. She's not aggressive. She just really wants food and thinks that you have it. All right, so this is Morel. She's very hard to get a picture of or a good video of, but we're going to try holding her. Sometimes it's kind of a hassle trying to hold her in videos because she's constantly going all over the place. But this is Morel. She is a cinnamon banana or a cinnamon... She's a black pastel banana. And she, like I said, she's about the same age as the other one, but she just grows in length. And she's very slim because she's just so active. Even in her bin, in her cage, she's constantly, constantly moving. But again, she's not aggressive. You can see that her neck is nice and straight. She's tongue flicking. She's looking around. She's not fixating on the camera, bright lights. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times, more aggressive ball pythons will fixate on things like on you, on your moving hand, on your camera, or any bright lights that you have. I found that a lot of these guys do not like the show lights, so I purposely don't take out ones that are uncomfortable by it or like to strike at it. I don't want to stress out my animals by any means. But normally it's pretty easy to determine if your animal or if your ball python is aggressive or if they're active. Because like her, you can see she's bumping her head around. She doesn't really care where you touch her, what you do with her. She just wants to move around, do her own thing. But she's not glaring. She's not staring at anything. She's not in strike pose. She is not... You know, you can see how straight her neck is. Again, tongue flicking. She's got a great personality. Very, very active, but she has a good personality. When you go to get her out of her cage, though, and, like, let's say I was just to reach my hand in, she would go for it because she wants that food. I think it's more or less because she's got such a high metabolism because she is so active that she's very, very high food drive, but that doesn't make her a bad snake whatsoever. Normally, when I go into... A bin I will open it up and see what that snake is doing nine times out of ten they're sitting like this in strike pose ready for me to give them some food that's why I like to use a hook rather than my hand because I don't enjoy getting bit I have been bit in the past but that was where only the times I didn't use a snake hook I like to use a snake hook just to pick the animal up and once the animal is up and realizes okay there is no food then it's perfectly fine to use your hands you don't have to use a snake hook Hook training is the best thing I've been able to call it just because then the animal knows, okay, if there's a hook involved, I'm not getting any food, and they'll calm down considerably. But there are those snakes that, for example, I have a black pastel pied. She's not terrible, but she's very food driven, and she's not the biggest fan of me. I did a video with her, and she was very, very focused on the lights, so I'm not going to stress her out and take her out. But I've also got a GHI Mojave female. She, on the other hand, Anything that moves, she likes to strike at. So if my hand was moving like this, she would be completely focused on my hand. But that's not to say great snakes can't have bad days. I can open a bin of most of my snakes, especially ones I've had for a really long time. For example, Hazel. Right now is breeding season, so she is very, very grumpy. She just wants food, she just wants a boyfriend, and she wants to be left alone. But most of the time, she's incredibly, incredibly active. Most of the time, she's just like her, just 10 times the size, super active, looking around, and is a joy to be around. I like to bring her out and show people, especially because of her big size, how friendly she is. But in breeding season, you open that, and if you don't have food, she doesn't want anything to do with you. She'll be very hissy, very puffy, which is not like her at all once she's done with her eggs. Once she's had her eggs for her season, all the way up until Burmation, which is about five months, she's a sweetheart. But then once she hits Burmation, she normally is pretty grumpy and just wants to be left alone. But just by simply 
looking at all these snakes every day, having some of these snakes for 10, 12 years, you get to learn each of their personalities. And mostly just by looking, you can tell what kind of attitude or what kind of personality they're gonna have for that day. Sometimes they have bad days. Most, time, most of the time they have really good days or their bad days are because it's breeding season. I'm a, late, I'm a day late on feeding. They're going into shed or anything like that. They're getting closer to laying eggs. There's a bunch of different things to consider when it comes to how the animal is going to act that day. Sometimes I go to take out one snake because I want them on the video and they're just super grumpy, super hissy, and that's not what I'm here for. I don't like trying to make a snake strike. I don't like stressing them out. I like them, like she's just relaxed. She's looking around. She's actually moving quite slow compared to what she normally is. I think she's mad because tomorrow's feeding day and she thought it was today, so she's a little upset by it, but she's not not being aggressive, not doing anything wrong. But every single snake's gonna be different and they're gonna change throughout their lives, throughout the breeding season, throughout bermation, all that kind of stuff. But I hope this showed you guys a little bit better on the different personalities that ball pythons can have. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We do new videos every Wednesday and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.